to Mahamudra. This is the first act of the foundation. If you haven't watched the video, The Approach, I highly suggest you watch that first because that is an introduction to what the foundation is when it comes to the course permanent piece. There's a guy on your screen, I can't make you watch it. But moving on, Mahamudra physically is just a stretch. What it's doing is it's transforming your internal environment if you approach it the right way, which I'll teach you how to do that into one that is ripe for the meditation. Now, I'm going to assume it's your first time approaching it. So what I want you to do is view this as an exercise that's meant at balancing the mind, balancing the internal environment. The reason for this is because I don't want you to view it as just a stretch. Because if you view it as a stretch, you might start thinking of it as an exercise. What you think about exercise is going to start coming into your awareness. It's going to start making a lot of noise inside. We don't need that. We're trying to calm it all down. So view this as a way to balance the mind and treat it as so. And by doing that and actually sincerely going about it with that approach, it's going to really make this whole act one that is chef's kiss. <laughs> so the intention is to be aware. You're approaching it with the view that this is a way to balance the mind. As you approach it, you set the intention to be aware. And the reason we're doing that is because we don't want to be absorbed in any mental impressions. I don't want memories coming in here. I don't want any thoughts of what you have to do in the day coming in here. I don't want you thinking about things that irritated you in the past coming in here. I want you to just remember that you're here right now. All those other things don't matter and they won't exist if you're not aware of them. So always bring your awareness back to the now every time you notice yourself going off. It's okay if you go off. Don't end the meditation. It's normal. It's fine. The last thing I want you to do is I want you to let go of the rush. If you only have 30 minutes before work and you start to do this, don't think about work. Don't think about your job. Set a timer, 30 minutes, and let that have the responsibility of worrying for when you got to go to work. That thing will remind you when, okay, we got to cut it, we got to go. When you're absorbed in the now, that's when the true magic happens. You can't be relaxed if your mind is thinking about work. It's a total different headspace. So with all of that, let's actually get into the exercise. So there are three ways you can approach it, all based on your physical capabilities, but it doesn't matter if you can't do the, the last level, which I think is the traditional way of approaching it. Um, it's totally not going to affect the meditation in any way. Remember the techniques are not the goal. It's peace. It's the absorption with consciousness, which is the goal. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. So, what you want to do is you can start with either leg. I'm going to show you my left leg. But right here, I have my knee. So the most important thing is to have the head get close to the knee. That's what's going to actually get the stretch from the calf to the hamstring to the glutes throughout your whole back and even up into the neck so first level you grab the knee and you go down and you bring the head as close as you can to it while keeping the leg as straight as you can you go back up okay now you move on to the next leg grab the knee and go down And you would hold it longer, as long as you feel comfortable doing so. And then grab both knees after putting both legs straight. And go down. Okay, there you go. So that's one set. So we're going to perform three sets of this. And then you approach the meditation. Minimum of three sets. I honestly suggest that you just do it and get lost in it. It's super fun, super relaxing. But the next way of approaching it, this would be like level two, is... Same position, but what you want to do is you want to actually reach and grab the toes and pull them back. You don't want to pull them back super hard. By grabbing the toes, you can actually deepen the stretch a little bit more into the calf and the hamstring. It's subtle, but it's really worth it if you can make it. And so you move down. Go back up. You do it with this leg. Same thing, grab the toes. Go down, go back up, both legs, down, go back up, cool. 
Now, the traditional way, and it's my favorite way, if you can manage it, you can get a deeper stretch, in my opinion, at least. But, I'm gonna set plus like. Okay, so if you were to imagine that you were sitting like this, right? Both of your legs are facing forward. What you wanna do is you wanna take, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna stretch on my right leg first. So what I would do is I'd take my heel and I would move it in a little bit and I would actually sit it and place it on my print. So when my leg is straight, I'm basically sitting on my heel with my heel being on my perineum. And if you don't know where that is, this is my hand, right? So the anus is down here and the genitalia are up here. The perineum is right in the middle of that. So you can look up some images on Google, just be careful <laughs> and try and find that and place the heel there. And by doing so, it slightly stimulates you for, it, it helps to focus. It really does. It's weird, I know, <laughs> it's weird but it's also going to play a large role in the next portion of permanent pieces. We're just laying out the foundation for what's to come. So either or, if you can get to this, cool. What I want you to do is I want you to just fall forward, grab the toes, and the same thing, head to the knee, and you roll back up. Be careful about coming up weird. What I want you to do is I want you to Roll back up, right? Head, what do you call it? Chin to the, I almost said chest plate, to the collarbone. <laughs> Your body is a suit of armor. I'm technically not really wrong there. Yeah, then you do the same thing. Knee forward, then you just slightly bring the heel under and you sit on the perineum, like forward. And when you bend down, make sure that the quad is relaxed. The whole front of your leg should be relaxed. This leg shouldn't be flexing. Then you bend down, head to the knee. Go back up. And then, as we've done with the other ones, feet forward, grab the toes, head forward. Now, you can push the feet a little bit forward, but if that messes with your head going to the knees, don't do it, because that's really the stretch that we're trying to get, is the head as close to the knees as possible. Okay, now this is actually the final part of the Mahamudra, is when you perform it, I actually want you to hold your breath every single time, if you can. First, start off by getting used to whatever level of flexibility works best for you, so either one, two, or traditional, and you know, go into it. What I want you to do is I want you to, I go about 80%, then you just go down. I want you to do and don't I didn't take any other breaths than those three when I performed it in the beginning I would take my deep breath I would go down I would come back up and then I would take some breaths afterwards because hold up <laughs> because what starts happening is you start stagger breath and you start gasping for air in between because your body doesn't have a good enough What's it called? CO2 tolerance. And you'll build that up as you start doing these practices. 
But yeah, that's basically the Mahamudra. That's a foundational way. We will be building upon it later on. So make get good at this, please. If you're gonna actually move on to the next portion of the course, this is your fundamentals, all of this. So, hope you guys enjoy, best of luck, and remember, approach it in the correct way, and this should be transforming your environment. This should be a gentle act. There should be no stress, there should be no pain. You want to enter the meditation more relaxed than you started this stretch, okay? That's the key. Remember, techniques are not the goal, pieces. My name is JC, peace, hope you guys enjoy.